YouTube, Poison Dark Frog Hobbyist. This is Bradley, and I'm here with another video for you guys. Here is my springtail tank. This is where I house all of my springtails, and I seed my other tanks. I was initially going to use this tank for a grow out, but I decided not to because. I can't really manual, well, I can't automatically drain the water. I will have to manually drain the water. So I, I chose not to make it a grow out tank. And I just stumbled upon a good way to keep springtails. So this tank doesn't have a false bottom. There's some ABG at the bottom. The, well, the substrate is ABG and there's leaf litter. I had some Josh's Frog Springtail, Springtails, and I just poured some into this little cube. I added some Bug Burger over time. I put mushrooms in, but the mushrooms started to produce flies. So I will only put Bug Burger in from here on out. Let's take a look on the inside. So you can see all of the springtails there. And there, there are so many springtails here. I just, I see my tanks with springtails from this vivarium. can't take this off anymore but look at look there's like springtails under they're everywhere the only thing I don't like is the flies in that that's a result of summer So there are springtails everywhere and if I want to seed my tanks, I just use this turkey baster. So I'll just basically like the same way like you suck up a tadpole. So I just put them in and squeeze and that's how I get springtails into my tank. And anytime the water starts stinking, I will just extract the water with this turkey baster. I wouldn't put a I wouldn't put a frog in here because of the water. I see that springtails like these little water pools, and this is my method. And anytime I want to see the tank, I just use my turkey baster and take out the springtails and the water together. So I will put bug burger in every week or two. Like if you can see that the brown there, that was like some melted bug burger. I just threw it in there. It doesn't smell too bad. I use some oak leaves and some other local leaves. And this is the result. I produced, there are, there are tons of springtails here. I'm not really familiar with any other method. The first time I ever got springtails, they were in one of these 16 ounce cups with dirt, some leaves and a little bit of charcoal. And then like I said before, the next time was with this Josh's Frog Springtails. And there's like charcoal and distilled water in, in here. So if you want, you could try it out. Maybe create a false bottom. Let me know what happens. 
And until next time, like, don't dislike, comment, subscribe, and enjoy your frogs. Thank you.